Hi, everybody, and welcome to English 1A. I'm going to make this just a little bit bigger. There we go. And in this lecture, we are going to go over just a bunch of basic things that you need to know to get started in our class. So my name is Erin Fujinami. I'm going to be your instructor. And let's get started. All right, so a couple of things about me, just so we can get to know each other. Um, you can call me Erin um, or Mrs. Fuji, whatever works for you. I got my bachelor's and master's uh, here in town from Fresno State. I still teach there. I am a mom, a wife, and a pet mom. I love to travel, read, and cook, so I've shared a couple of pictures. This is one of my crazy cats. Um, one of the things we like to do lately is go fishing. My family and I, um, I think that was in Yosemite. And then one of my birthday pictures. So all kinds of fun. I look forward to getting to uh, see and virtually meet all of you on Canvas pretty soon. All right, so how to reach me. Um, some general tips for when you need to get in touch. Try to contact me during school hours when you can. So from about 8 a.m. until about uh, 3 p.m. on Monday through Friday. I'm not generally available on holidays. When you're contacting me, please include your name along with the course and relevant details so that I can answer your question fully as soon as I get to it. I usually respond within two business days and I appreciate your patience. Um, the fastest way to reach me is through a text. So you can join our class on the Remind app. It's a free app that allows you to contact your uh, peers as well as myself. Uh, via text, and that is the fastest way to reach me. So in order to do that, you'll need to go to your syllabus and text a code that is in your syllabus to the number 81010. Follow those directions. It'll get you into our class on Remind, and then you can text me. If you text me on Remind during the week, usually I can get to you faster than those two business days. You can also email me. Um, I would recommend starting with the inbox feature on Canvas. And then if that's not an option for whatever reason, you can also email me at my SCCCD email. But again, that one will probably take me a couple of days to um, respond to. So just be aware of that. I appreciate your patience. There's only one of me and I have a whole lot of students. Okay, so some things to know about our class. Our general goals, um, this class is going to help you learn to read, write, and think critically about important issues. You'll learn and practice some basics that are going to be expected of you in your future college courses. And I hope that you're able to build a community of people that you can rely on throughout the rest of your college career. The syllabus. So this uh, syllabus has everything that you need to know about the course, including course policies, materials that you'll need and where to find those, links to tons of places to go for extra help on campus or online, and a detailed schedule of readings and assignments for the entire semester. So um, that'll allow you to plan ahead, know what to expect, be aware of all of our policies and that kind of thing. So definitely check out the syllabus. You can find this in Canvas in the welcome module. Our goals. By the end of class, there are a few things that students should be able to do. So you should be able to analyze and interpret professional texts, write various thesis-driven essays using evidence, and use academic language effectively. So those are kind of our big overarching goals. Some important things to know about what we offer to support students as you start to work on reaching those goals. Uh, we've got lots of great tutoring options that are available for free, both in person and online. Um, five tutoring meetings are required as part of class. Those due dates are listed in the syllabus under the schedule of classes. So I would recommend taking a look at those early in the semester and then figuring out which kind of tutoring works for you, making those appointments early. Um, and I have another lecture that goes over tutoring and also group work specifically. So look for that for some more information. 
We've got lots of great tutoring options. As I mentioned, one of those is the PASS Center. I will leave a link to this um, document in Canvas as well as in the um, comments or I'm sorry, the description section on YouTube for this lecture so that you're able to click on these links here so that you can find um, contact info and specific hours for whichever tutoring you're looking at. So we have the PASS Center, the Tutorial Center, and also the Writing and Reading Center. So lots of different ways that you can get tutoring. Remember, all of these are free for uh, FCC students. Some things to expect from class. Every week, uh, this is what you should expect. So you'll have assigned readings. Those will always be posted to Canvas on Sunday, and you'll need to read them in preparation for your assignments, which are due on Wednesday and also on Friday. You'll have assigned recorded lectures, just like this one. Those will also be posted in your um, Canvas module every week on Sunday, and you'll need to watch those in preparation for those assignments as well. Generally, those assignments are going to be weekly discussions that are due twice a week. So those are due on Wednesday and Friday. You'll also have some other types of assignments that are due on Wednesdays and Fridays, including tutoring and group reflections. So we'll talk about those in another lecture so you have some more info about that. Um, and then we also do essays sometimes, so be aware of those. Again, look at the schedule of classes for that information. If you are in a short-term class, pay attention for the next uh, slide here. If you're not in a short-term class, you can zone out for like 30 seconds. All right, so short-term classes, we have a condensed schedule. So make sure that you set goals for yourself and tackle those readings and assignments in chunks so you don't feel so overwhelmed. If your class is a short-term class, you can expect to write fast-paced essays. So instead of having an essay every three or four weeks, you might have it every one or two weeks, depending on your class and how short that class is. So check out your schedule of classes um, for those due dates. And for short-term classes, as well as my regular classes, we have lots of extra support available. So use things like groups and tutoring and all of that glorious extra credit. All right, so back with everybody, so short-term and regular classes, pay attention to this next part. Um, you should expect to collaborate a lot in our class. So no matter what you're working on, plan to work with your classmates, with tutors and or myself to get feedback, clarify questions that you might have and work through things that you might find difficult. Um, our class really works best when we help each other and learn from each other. So try to embrace this spirit of collaboration. Rely on your groups to study, <clears throat> answer questions, troubleshoot, and help you succeed in class. Don't worry if you are not a fan of group grades. All of your coursework is submitted and graded individually. And that brings us to groups. So again, we'll talk more about this in a separate lecture, but just be aware that everybody gets to be a part of a group this semester. So you'll, you'll all be divided into small groups. Um, there are no graded group assignments, but you do reflect individually on how you're showing up for your group. And those individual reflections are graded. You can see which group you're in by going to Canvas modules, the welcome module and then get in touch with your groups. You can also click on this adorable little duck here and he will take you to the groups doc, which will list your name um, in one of the groups and tell you a little bit more about groups and how to get in touch with yours. You should start the semester by contacting your groups using the Canvas inbox and then swap contact information and text, call, or interact in whatever way works for your group to take care of those group meetings. Some things that you can expect from me. I do my best to provide clear expectations for assignments so that you know what to do, when, and how. I'm always open to talk about your progress in the class or an assignment um, or a concept that you're struggling with. So please remember that I'm here to help you and don't hesitate to reach out to me if you're stuck or you need to clarify something or you have a question. As I mentioned, I'll be posting new modules and this is just like an online folder that contains everything you need for that week. I'll post those each week to Canvas, usually by Sunday. 
I will do my best to respond to your texts and emails as soon as possible and within two business days. And I'll be flexible with my expectations whenever possible. Life happens, so I understand if something comes up and you need an extension or you're you know, struggling with an assignment or you couldn't turn it in on time because of technology. As long as these things aren't happening all the time, I'm generally okay with giving you a little bit of leeway, but let me know, keep me in the loop with a text or an email um, just so that we can troubleshoot together. All right, so what's next? What should you do from here? You should head to Canvas and go through the welcome module. In that module, you're going to find all kinds of important things that you need to review at the beginning of our class, including our syllabus, your assigned group and directions for how to get in touch, and then links to all kinds of other helpful things like Canvas tutorials, student FAQs, um, information about the tutorial center, all kinds of good stuff. Once you've made it through the welcome module, then you should go to our week one module and start working through that. Every week you should start off with the weekly schedule so that you know what's happening in class, what you need to read and watch, and what's due. Then you should start going through those assigned lectures and readings. Once you've done that, then you can start completing the weekly assignments. Remember that things are due every week on Wednesday and Friday by 11.59 p.m. All right, thank you for being here. I'm so glad to have you. We're going to have a great semester. Let's get started.